Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Total War, a mod for the classic, well, turn-based and real-time strategy game. It's a little bit of both. Medieval 2 Total War. Now, it's an older game, so bear in mind everything you're gonna see here, eh, the graphics are gonna be toned down quite a bit because this game is old, but if you haven't guessed already, it's a total conversion for, Medi for Medieval 2 Total War that turns it into the Elder Scrolls, like the whole of Tamriel and all of its races and all of its factions pretty much are in there. So let's get started in what you get to play here. Now, you have, of course, your overworld Elder Scrolls campaign, and then you've got your quick battles, your custom battles. Um, I did do a couple of quick battles, and God, they weren't balanced at all. It was real bad. So if you're going to do like a quick battle, a skirmish, do custom battle. But the big deal with this is the campaign that makes it ah, so good. So good. So let's get into the Elder Scrolls campaign. And I'll show you what's up. 20 factions from the Elder Scrolls. We've got the whole of Tamriel here, including Morrowind. There's the mountain in the center of Morrowind. You have, for anybody who jumped into Elder Scrolls with the, uh, with the title Skyrim, uh, they have Skyrim. You can be the Nords. You can be the Jarls and command all of Skyrim from solitude. And it is based on the Skyrim map. Like, all the locations are right. The lakes where they're supposed to be, everything is there. And I'll load up a map with Sky, uh, with the um, with the Nords in just a second to show you guys what's up. But looking into some of the sides that you can play as. Now, every side has custom art, custom cities. They've got custom units, strengths, and weaknesses. And they scale differently. So, we'll click on uh, the Tamriel Empire, right? You get to be Tiber Septim. You get to be Jean-Luc Picard or <laughs> Patrick Stewart. If you don't know, he voiced um, Tiber Septim in... Um, in oblivion so but yeah you get that with the capital city in the center and everything it's it's pretty legit like you get Cyrodiil you get their their special units there uh, the guards that you always see in oblivion you actually get those so the art is pretty cool and this is a small team mind you that made this which is awesome but let's go into a few of the other sides um you get the kingdom of daggerfall you get the uh, the bretons you get the um Oh, good grief. Hammerfell, which is the uh, the Red Guard. I'm trying to remember my lore for, for the Elder Scrolls here. You get the Red Guard, and you get their their fancy units. You get, um, like, the Bretons with the... See, the Bretons are, like, the old-school English kingdoms, I guess. And I haven't played them. I really want to see a title, a newer age title, take place out here. The Kingdoms of Wayrest. Let's go through a few more of them. You get the Orcish Kingdom. So the Kingdom of or Orsinum. Hmm. Of course, Skyrim, the uh, the Almiri Dominion. So you've got what is this? The um, uh, from the MMO actually is when they really talk about this a bit more. But the Thalmor, right? Just continuing on, Black Marsh. You get the Argonians, uh, which the big lizard guys. If you don't know, then you've got the uh, Clan of Forebears. I don't know who you guys are. Hammerfell. All right, it's just another faction. You get multiple factions. So like the Khajiit's a good example of this. Multiple factions in the same race. So you get the Kingdom of uh, Palantine, and then you get these guys. And they have different special units. So you got their um, their pikemen. It tells you their weakness. No heavy armored infantry. Um, like the Nords, um, the Kingdom of Skyrim has really weak cavalry because it's such a mountainous area and few spearmen. But they have great infantry, especially their heavy infantry with a two-handed sword. Ah, oh, yeah, the Nord plate swordsman, pretty badass. They also get heavy archers that I really really like. Let's see here. And then you can get into the Morrowind side. So you got like the House of Dagoth, which summons like nasty creatures. They lack an actual professional army though, but they get some monsters. Speaking of Morrowind, they actually get, um, I think it's, no, it's, I'm not sure who, it might be most of them actually. They get the, the what is it, the, the Sith, Sylph, Sylph Riders, the big tick looking things from Morrowind that you could use to do fast travel. And they actually make the sound effect. So if you played a lot of more when you know exactly what I'm talking about. But all right, let's get into actual gameplay. So uh, we'll load up one of my already going on campaigns and I will show you a battle. I'll show you how detailed the map is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go back and let's go to continue campaign. And I've got a couple of saves here. You are gonna let me choose the campaign I load, right? But yeah, you get, oh. The music is also from all all the Elder Scrolls titles. Going back from, like right now, what we're hearing is music from Morrowind. They've got music going through Skyrim. They've got remixes, I think, that are put in here. All right, yeah, this is um, 
This is my Skyrim campaign, the last one I was playing. So I started off, let's see, we're zooming out as far as we can get, but it, it should look pretty damn familiar. I mean, you got Morthal here, you got Solitude. I can even zoom in on Solitude, and it looks like Solitude. The dock in the lower section, the upper city area, the, um, oh, what is this? This is the uh, the actual throne room, I believe. Yeah, it's they actually modeled some of the cities, which is really neat. Like, we'll scroll down and we'll look at, uh, da -da 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 -da, there's Rorikstead. Uh, Fort Greymore, which isn't actually ruins, it's actually a castle that you start with. Whiterun! So there's Whiterun, so that means that you'd probably have your first dragon battle in Skyrim somewhere like out here. There's the bridge going across, the rivers are properly based. There's Riverwood! And Helgen! Oi, oi, Helgen. It's not been burned down by a uh, by a dragon just yet. The city is still there, but so I, I did a little scouting. I played a bit. The they you do get little story missions where it's just like normal uh, medieval two total war, where you'll get missions that'll say uh, go capture this um, rebel stronghold that's out there, right? So this is like the barbarian stronghold. It ended up being Fort Dawnguard from the expansion pack for Skyrim. I had to take it, so I sent my troops. The ones that I rallied from the local areas, like from Riften and from Windhelm, I got them all down here, and we took Fort Dawnguard. The second we took it, we ended up going to war with the uh, Redoran army, which is one of the groups out of Morrowind. And Morrowind and the mountainside is all right over here. So it's just so cool that this is actually the full map of Tamriel. Like the Khajiit are down here and elsewhere, and you've got the Bretons over here, and then the Orc armies, and the Redguard deserts, and ah, it's just so freaking cool that all this is here. I mean, it's really impressive. The map is huge, too. So I'm currently at war with two different sides that are bordering Skyrim. Skyrim has issues with the Pale Pass ruins, has been taken over by the undead. There's a group of necromancers there. We can actually click it. Oh, it's not gonna let me see it. My army has oh, laid siege to it, so I've got my commander here. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, all the sound effects have been replaced except, it seems, voices for units. So Skyrim seems like it has uh, German voices. So, you know, you hear for the Reich and you'll hear all kinds of um, other things that don't match. And I don't know why they weren't able to replace the voices because there's plenty of voice audio bits that, or they could just recorded some themselves. I wish they would because that would just bring this this would bring that would bring this home for me. That would be the one thing that this is missing. But oh, anyways, there's there's necromancers in here, and there are hundreds, probably over a thousand, skeletal warriors inside here that the necromancers have managed to raise. Now, necromancers seem to be at war with everybody. This is the undead faction. These bastards, though. Come and get me. What are these guys? The the this faction from Morrowind, and I don't know who they are, but I took their city from them because they attacked me at Fort Dawnguard. The second I took this, their army was here and attacking me. So I took it from the rebels. And so I won that battle and I pushed them back. And I'll probably load up that map. But now they're sieging me here at Silgrad. I might show that battle. But let's let's get into the siege here. We're gonna fight for the Pale Pass Ruins. I've managed to build a ram already, a ladder, and a siege tower, and we'll go ahead and begin the assault. Now, if you look at what I've got here, I've pulled, and this is why this is so good, I've pulled troops from all the surrounding, um, do I have to start this? Just maintain siege for now. I've pulled troops, like I put out the word to all the Jarls, to the local, like Falkreath and Whiterun, and I said, you know, we have a threat, the necromancers are here. I still have, even have um, my actual king, King Ragnar, Ragnar, is on his way to help with the siege, sadly he wasn't able to make it in time. But we're just gonna go ahead and start the siege. Well, we, we, you know what, we could wait a turn. We could wait a turn and get him there, I think. My honor is lost, I um, actually, I'm worried that they're going to begin their assault, and I really wanna do this battle. So we'll just start the battle so I can show the units off. But I, it's, it's just this cool like story going on in your head that I've called the Jarls, they sent their troops, all to fight for Pale Pass, and if I claim this, Skyrim has this beautiful natural defense of mountain ranges, and now I'm protected on two sides, right? I've got the ocean to, well, three sides. So I've got the ocean to the north, where Dawnstar is, where um, Winterhold, the College of Winterhold is. I wonder if the building's actually there, let's look. Okay, I don't actually have the College of Winterhold, but you can get Winterhold up here. So I'm defended by the ocean to the north, and I've got the mountain ranges to the south and to the west, or to the east. So if I can claim this, this is a great defensive point for me, and then I can start focusing on maybe seeing what's out here. I know there's a couple more cities held by the rebels that I can go and take, and really like secure Skyrim for the Nords, and then deal with whatever my main objectives are. I do have a mission, go send an emissary, do my diplomatic thing. Um, we are currently allied with the Empire to the south, so I'm allied with um, Patrick Stewart down here, which is pretty badass. Let's go ahead though and begin our siege. 
and Assault. Now, you can't play as the undead. I was a little sad to see that. They're kind of like the faction that everyone is at war with. Um, we have the Necromancers with 1,600 men versus, uh, well, the Kingdom of Skyrim and whoever, whatever leader that I sent down here, I'm not even sure, but we're not gonna attempt a night attack. We're gonna go in broad daylight and fight this battle on the map. That music though, they, ah, they have it set up so it starts playing right when you expect it to, right when the battle's gonna start. That's so cool. Hopefully YouTube doesn't smack me around for copyright ID because it's got Skyrim music in the background, but. Uh, so if you don't hear the music, that means that there was an issue with YouTube being dumb, but. There's our army. Now we'll go ahead and start our deployment. You can hear, uh, if you listen to the, the speech of your general, it will be very, it'll be in German. It'll be the German side from Medieval Total War, but the music. Uh, let's take a look at our faction here, the Nords. You guys will recognize these as the guards, the town guard archers from Skyrim. I've got town guard uh, swordsmen someplace. Where are they at? There we go, town guard swordsmen. And then we've got our heavy, some of our heavy infantry. So you, you can build, I don't think I have any of the um, V unit for these guys, which are the plate. I do have the two-handed, these might be them actually. I thought I brought some in, but here's some of our two-handed swordsmen. Now, the great thing about the Nords is one, they love to fight in hilly areas and they love to fight in the woods, in the trees. They can handle it. They're so hardy as infantry. They really are. They could stand up against anything. Now, then, let's just go ahead and start the battle. Um, how do I align? Do I like this setup? Eh, it's fine. We're not gonna play through this entire battle because this will be a really, really long battle, but let's go ahead and move our forces forward and begin, begin our assault. Where are you guys actually going? You're going, yeah, right up front. Just march forward, men. Show them on the move. You're wondering if my UI looks different. There's an option in Medieval 2 Total War where you can put the um, the smaller UI on so you can get more of a, of a look. But like, how cool was it to see the town guardsmen from Skyrim, right? From like, <laughs> from Solitude or wherever, pushing a battering ram to get into position to assault an undead keep. Now let's go look at the enemy and see what we're actually up against here. So if I hold shift, I can move a little bit quicker. I can also hold shift to see where my troops are moving to to get into position. The Necromancers have positioned their uh, their undead forces on the battlements. Only some of them, though. Now, I'm on a time limit here. This is why this battle is actually quite difficult, because not only do I have to siege this and get through with my with my troops, take over, maybe like do the battering ram and knock this down, or use my, uh, my, my, um, uh, my ladders to actually take this, which I can do. I'm gonna give them the order. Go ahead, take the walls, use the battering ram, position the, uh, what, do you, what do you call this thing? The, um, I don't know, that tower thing where the troops can run up it and get inside. So they've been given orders. Everybody's gonna get into position, but I mean, look how cool that is. I mean, normally you would see these guys inside a cave or a dungeon in Skyrim, but to see an army of them, the, the dragger, Probably not saying that right. I probably always said that wrong, but let's go ahead and scroll over to the rest of the undead armies. And they've got numbers, tons of numbers. Now I'm kind of sad we can't play as them because I'd like to know what their mechanics are, you know? Wouldn't it be cool to have a mechanic where the way you like summon these guys, or maybe it's like an overtime thing, I don't know. But if we go into the actual keep, and this is the area that I have to capture within the time limit, you'll see that they have necromancers. And if you zoom in, there's actually a lot of detail here. Some of them are wearing masks. Some of them are, um, what are these? Uh, like the dark elves? Uh, yeah, dark elves? Pretty sure they're dark elves. And they've even got the, uh, the necromancer cloaks from the game on. Very, very cool. Now, the map is very medieval to Total War. I don't think they've really changed it, but there are custom maps for certain battles. All right, how are our troops doing? They're still marching into position. Let's go ahead and speed up time. So you guys can see a battle that's going on. Now, if you've never played Medieval 2 Total War, bear in mind that it's an older game and it had some bugs, issues, pathfinding, just some wonkiness would go on um, in the game. Oh, look how cool that is. They even have the different shields for the different holds. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't actually notice that last time I played. How freaking cool, the detail level is just fantastic on this. All right, we're starting to take arrows from the towers. We need to take this tower from them. Speed up time again, get our men into position. The town guard, can't stop a Nord. 
it's getting into position to lay waste to this tower. And they're really, really slow. That's why I like to turn up. The there they go. They're gonna get into position using their magic sliding abilities. What got me, if you guys are wondering, what like what the heck made you wanna install this, Shaq? Well, um, Warhammer, the Fantasy Total War video, the gameplay video came out, and I'm super pumped for it. I mean, I saw them play it. That demo, I saw them play it at E3, and I was like, I wanna play some Total War, but I don't wanna play any Total War. I wanna play something fantasy-based, and I knew this was a mod that I've always wanted to try. There we go, our heavy infantry are moving up with their shields held high to block the arrows that are coming in. Our heavy archers have started to attack the walls. We can actually, because there's heavy infantry up there, let's go ahead and light the arrows on fire. There we go, we've breached the walls. For the Empire! For the Empire! And open fire! Where's that fiery doom? There it is. The problem with the fire arrows is they're less accurate. So, might be a good idea to swap those out. But there goes our heavy infantry, meeting them in battle. As they climb over the walls. And I'm pretty early in the campaign here. So I'm betting as I, Skyrim has always been a poor country. Oh crap, here goes the skeletal troops marching toward the gates. We should probably get our infantry. Let's take our guardsmen. Go ahead and attack their light infantry with our light infantry. Let's get in there. Let's take this tower from them. Charge, men! Take the fight to the undead. We're gonna take down these necros for desecrating our fallen brothers. It's just so cool to see the undead skeletons. <laughs> to battle! Very cool. And have you made it? We've made it. We've made it up. We're gonna join the battle. We could bring our archers up there. I mean, this was always one of the better strategy games, definitely. Let's get some of our archers up on the walls. But all right, so let's go look at some of the other mechanics. We're not gonna do a whole let's play of this one. We're just gonna try out different uh, exit battle. Yes, quick. Yeah, you can hear the, the audio bits from um, traditional Medieval 2 Total War, but that would be the one thing I would love to hear changed. Uh, maybe it's just something that's hard-coded and they can't change it. I mean, I don't know why Morning they can't. All right, so what else do we got? Well, all the traditional mechanics of Medieval 2 Total War are there. You can, I'll click this. Our troops have fallen back. Uh, I can click this and I can build stuff. I can build the Chapel of the Nine. So they've got the different religions that are out there. Like, let's look at the, um, the situation right now. Looking at our diplomacy tab, uh, we can actually look at what religions there are. So the Tamriel Empire should be the um, Nine Divines. Yep, Nine Divines, we're the Nine Divines. We have allies, they are our allies. Um, now who are allies currently? Yeah, the Tamriel Empire are allies. And we can just scroll down through these. So the other religions, uh, mostly they're all Nine Divines except for the, there you go, the Aldmari Dominion, worshippers of of the Hist. That would be Black Marsh clans, so the Argonians, Nine Divines, the Jaka J. I mean, people who know a lot about the Elder Scrolls lore are gonna love this. Even the loading screens have like quotes out of different books that you find in Oblivion and Morrowind, Skyrim, of course. So let's jump in and try one of the Morrowind races just to get a little, it'll taste a little something different. So we'll start it up. There's difficulty settings on there. There's a new AI. Oh, there's a there's a cutscene when you start these guys. Oh, look at it. It's oh, it's Morrowind and that crazy architecture. Oh, oh man, what the hell is going on here? Skyrim didn't have this this cool animated intro. I'm a little sad. Oh, and the monsters and creatures from the Great Mountain. Oh, look at the glass armor. Oh, that's so cool. 
The variety of units are pretty insane. I was going through the, um, oh, I'm fighting. I, I was going through the, what is it, the custom battles, and you can see all the units there for the different sides, and they're pretty epic. I mean, there's a big list, and the NAR is fantastic. It really represents the different sides of different races. So let's see what their tactical situation is. The Sixth House. The Tribe Unmourned, Great House Dagroth. The History of Mysterious Lost House of Old, blah, 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 blah. So let's just get into it and look at it. There's the mountain. The mountain is actually a location. What? Dagroth or Ash Pit construction? What? What can they recruit? Dreamers, Corpse Stalkers, Ash Spawn Heavy Swordsmen. I mean, there's some crazy stuff going on here. Ghost Gate. I need to play, I don't remember most of this from Morrowind. I mean, except for like, I remember the mountain. I remember fighting some of these units, but like the actual story of Morrowind was so long ago. I mean, hell, I played that the first time on Xbox 360. Or no, that was the original, that was original Xbox. Yeah, oh man. But check, check that out. And you can start summoning, how much money, they, they start you with some, some cash. Like the issue that you have with Skyrim when you're playing as the Nords is that they just don't have a lot of, uh, of trade, of income. Like, if you play the Empire, you have tons of income. I just wanted to see what they have. And yeah, they get the mountainside there. And you saw the units them fighting. Um, they, even the, uh, the UI is just a little bit different. Very, very cool. All right, well, let's load up one more thing. And I will show you guys some of the, uh, the unit, just the list of units in the custom mode real fast. So we'll do um, single player and we'll do a custom battle just to look at the, the amount of work that they've gone into it. So there's all kinds of different maps like the Imperial City, um, Aldron, Dragon, oh, just so many stuff, the Ghost Gate. So many locations that Elder Scrolls fans will really get a kick out of. The mountains. Morrowind! Oh, okay. So let's go. Da -da 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 -da. Imperial City. And I just want to show you guys some of the units. So here's all the sides. In Skirmish, you can play as the uh, as the undead, which is pretty cool because you get the Necros, and the Necros throw fireballs, which are wickedly powerful. Um, they'll do they'll just cut big swaths out of the um the enemy lines. Uh oh, so, so many sides. And then when we get into the sides, so let's look at um, let's just look at the Lords of Skyrim real quick. Go next, and you can see the unit list is substantial. Order of Knights. What? Stendar. What? The Skull Tribe of Hunters, experts at hiding in woods, long range missiles. Small people of East and West High Rock of Skyrim inhabiting the entire territory of the Reach. This, and I haven't unlocked half of these, and of course ballistas and different ranged weapons. And did they actually get cavalry? I didn't think they had any cavalry. The common people of former travelers arrived in the city guard armed with swords used to patrol the area. Who's this? Experienced mages from the College of Winterhold. They are on there. Oh, that is so cool. Sorry, I'm freaking out a little bit. Let's um, switch through. So, okay, here you go. The, um, the people of Morrowind, right? The kingdom of Morrowind gets a massive list, including writers. Ah, the Gar Riders and some of the mages. Let's flip through a little bit more. That's Skyrim again. More, those are the two teams. So let's go back. All right, guys. Well, that is the Elder Scrolls Total War. It's a massive total conversion made by a small team. Took them years to create this. And if you have Medieval 2, might be a good reason to install it again if you're in kind of a fantasy strategy mood. Uh, it's a classic mod for a classic strategy game. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming goodness. And let me know... What faction is your favorite? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.